Okay, here we have a Raspberry Pi. In the UK, you can get this from two places, either Farnell or RS components, and both companies are uh, in league with the RS Raspberry Pi organization, and it's uh, a fantastic organization where you get these uh, £25 computers and this is literally what you get, this is the box it came in, this is the uh, anti-static bag I'm going to be a little bit gingerly as I get this out because I haven't got an anti-static strip, not that it's essential but you have got it upside down, so I'm going to flip it over the Raspberry Pi board itself, so literally this is what you're getting um, I'm going to quickly just go through things just to help familiarise people with what parts you've got here this is the Ethernet Cat5 cable in there, please. RJ45 connectors. You've got a dual USB head there. <clears throat> you've got sound and audio. You've got a HDMI, and you've got the uh, micro USB B power uh, charger here. And um, uh, these other pins that you can just see on top here. There's a ridge of pins going along the back here and there's another bridge of bins here are for later uh, either daughter board add-ons or connectors to enable the Raspberry Pi to act as a control device some people are already controlling little robots and uh, devices uh, some fantastic things on the Raspberry Pi website where people are already controlling little speed boats and actually this this is on board um, the device so like on board the boat in, in that particular example um, it's very very light um, the power requirements are very low um, you can power it from uh, a very small uh, mobile phone type charger doesn't need many volts etc you have to be careful with the power demand supplies requirements for the network card and any USB devices you plug in many people are finding that a powered USB hub uh, is a requirement to run anything other than the most basic keyboard and basic mouse so don't expect to plug your high-tech gaming mouse in and get uh, get away with it in all circumstances and uh, here we go so this I'm obviously going to mount into a case personally I think the uh, uh, part of the joy uh, of this and part of the fun of this is seeing the circuitry I think this is very much uh, exposing to uh, people that aren't used to these uh, type of computer equipments etc and I go back to the days when everything was motherboard dip pin switches etc and you had to know your binary and you had to know your encoding to get uh, the values right I think this is harking back to that where um, getting a new generation into computing and uh, this is this is absolutely uh, the the device to have there's a lot of community support on this it's very very cost effective very very cheap and um, good value for money I'm going to put this in the case and like I say I want to see all this so it's going to be a see-through case 